Hello and welcome along to the latest instalment of my Camper Conversion YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be starting the conversion of this Ford Transit Connect. It's a little short wheelbase van but it's still going to be manageable and I'm going to try and turn it into a full, fully fledged DVLA registered camper van. Now I've just taken delivery delivery of the van so I thought now is the best time to actually get the old floor up have a look and see what the condition of the floor plan is like obviously it's no good building on top of a rotten rusty floor thankfully I've taken the floor up and it's other than it needing to wipe down there's no rust, there's no rot, there's nothing that needs patching up anything like that it's a good solid floor just a bit dirty, a bit grimy that's all so I'm going to give this a full wash down and uh, sweep out, clean out then I'm going to lay the ply floor back down, but I'm not going to screw and nail it into the floor like whoever laid it originally has done. I say getting it back up here was an absolute pain, just because some of the screws had worn the heads down and as they had been nailed down as well. So any of the holes where I see on the floor, I'm going to treat those as well before I put the floor down. I say then the floor is going to go back down. It's in good condition, the actual floor. Then I'm going to insulate the actual ply. I'm going to use EVA foam mats, similar to what I've done in my little HiJet micro camera conversion there that should be all documented on my channel. So the EVA foam is going to go on top of the ply, and then I'm going to get some ultra safety flooring and that'll finish off the flooring and give it a nice hard wearing finish. Nothing as light wearing as Lino where you can just puncture it easily, the, light, uh, the ultra stuff's really hard wearing. So I shall start cracking on, I'll give this all a full clean out, wipe down, treat the holes where the old pipes came up, and say get that laid back down, start getting it insulated and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's all finished. Alright so I've just finished giving the floor a good scrubbing, as you can see it's come up quite well. Definitely no rust, no issues, no holes, no bubbling, no anything really, so floor wise, nice and solid. It's good to go conversion wise, so that's good to see. It means it's not having to have any patches welded in, any bits cut out, any bits ground back, anything daft like that. So it's nice to see a nice clean floor, ready to have a ply, fitted back down, insulated, and I get the ultra in as well. So there's the first step done. So I'm just about to start sticking the under ultra insulation down. As you can see I'm using the interlocking UVA foam mats. These are a good full 10mm thick and they're just super super warm. I use these, well I've been using these to work on the vans, like just to lay on the ground to work on and they're really soft. I've used them inside my house where I've got uh, tile flooring on top of concrete and again you can walk around just barefoot inside so I say they're just super super warm, super insulating. So I'm surprised more people don't really use this as some sort of floor insulation. So I'm going to start peeling this back up. I'm going to cover the ply with spray adhesive. I'll also cover the back of the foam mats with the spray adhesive as well. I just had to make sure that I had enough foam mats and I was literally a tiniest one strip short. So I've had to cut that little bit off one of my actual work mats. As I say, the rest of these are all brand new. You get six in the pack. And I say it was just the smallest, smallest bit, just short there. So, as I say, I'm just going to peel all these back up, get some spray adhesive. I always use Trim Fix, high temperature spray adhesive. I'll put links to what I'm using, links to these foam mats, links to the spray adhesive, stuff like that in the description of the video. So, just have a look in the description below. There'll be links to where you could purchase the adhesive, the UVA mats, uh, the Ultra flooring as well. So, have a look there. And as I say, I'll start peeling these up, get them all stuck down, and then it'll be ready for the ultra to go on top. So that's all of the insulation now stuck down, so that's the ply 
that's it fully up floor inspected secured back down Pliers now fully insulated so now I just need to get the Altro cut get that in uh, fully shaped around the arches around where the ply panels sit in the actual channel runner you've got to be sure that you don't overlap it and then you can't get the ply panels back in so that's going to take a little bit of trimming and cutting a few sharp knives and uh, once that's all cut I'll pick it back up and that'll be ready to lay down So there we go, there is the outro flooring all laid down, all trimmed to shape, all cut in. I've had some blocks wedged in against the gaps while the doors have been shut just to try and get the outro just to bend over the lip on the gap as well. That little corner could do with just folding down that little bit more again but the rest of it's actually held the shape quite nicely. I've done the same around the sliding door as well so that's been folded down just against the actual plastic step again just so it hides the insulation and the ply underneath more than anything else but I think it'll be, it looks a hell of a lot better than just having a bit of worn old ply down lovely and soft to the touch underneath because of the insulation you can sort of like feel the sponginess underneath it so I like see it springing back because it's the Altro Sparkle uh, safety flooring when there's a bit of light on it you can see all the floor glittering away, if I open this door it might you can probably see little bits of sparkle and glitter as the sun hits it that's it uh, it's transformed the look of the inside of the van put it that way really easy to do I'd say you just need some, a couple of sharp blades a little bit of patience try and measure two or three times because obviously if you do make a wrong cut it's a bit hard to go back but it's not a difficult job to replace all the flooring in the van half a day's work something like that not even that really so as I say that's how I've fully replaced well inspected all the flooring of the floor relaid the, pl uh, the ply insulate the ply laid down the outro had that cut to shape and there's the finished product so I hope you found this video useful if you did I'd say give it a thumbs up do check my channel, I'm going to be documenting every single job I do on this van, job by job. I've also already documented the entire conversion of this little 
Hijet that I've converted into a little micro camper van. That's on there job by job, as well as my VW T4 high top as well. So there's loads of videos on my channel, plenty more to come as well. So as I say, give a thumbs up, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.